tune into the Green and Growing program on Eagle Community Television with Holly Dickman, Ellis County Horticulture Agent. Holly will identify common lawn and garden issues and provide up-to-date information weekdays at noon and 9 p.m. on Channel 14. Green and Growing, brought to you by Eagle Community Television and Riedel's Garden Center, a full-service garden center west of Hayes on Highway 40 next to the Bickles Schmidt Sports Complex. Every year, as we get into the warmer months of summer, you look across town and you'll notice some trees or some shrubs or some flowers that maybe have a yellowish tinge to them. And that is a sign of iron deficiency in that plant. Um, now, it's not that our soils are deficient in iron, it's actually that we live in an area of the state where our soil pH is very alkaline or we have very high pH. And when you have that situation, it makes that iron that's in the soil more unavailable, or it sh I should say, unavailable to the plant. It ties it up and it just holds it very tightly and the plants can't take advantage of the iron they need. And so certain trees and shrubs and flowers are very much more susceptible than others to this type of issue. But when you see those yellow leaves with dark green veins, no matter what type of plant it is, that is a sign of iron deficiency or we call it iron chlorosis. Now there are ways to treat for iron chlorosis and, and I'm getting lots and lots of phone calls right now about this situation. And one of those is simply to apply iron sulfate or a mixture of iron sulfate and sulfur to the soil. Now in a larger tree like this, the majority of the roots are within the top foot to foot and a half of the soil. So you wanna get that iron actually right down into the roots. And so that requires drilling holes in the ground underneath the canopy of that tree and then putting that uh, fertilizer right down into those holes. Another option on a larger tree is to have it injected and you can either have that professionally done or you can purchase little capsules at some of the garden centers um, and do that at yourself at home uh, following those instructions of course and that will help provide iron directly to that tree. Now if you see this situation and you don't do anything about it what will happen will eventually these leaves that are more yellow they weaken the plant over time and so you may not notice any detriment from it the first year but if this continues year after year after year that tree or shrub will get weaker and weaker and then you'll notice maybe some limb die back or the overall plant will suddenly um, you know give up and die so if you have questions about iron chlorosis or um, how to treat it don't hesitate to call and ask our Extension Office for more information. We have a really nice publication from the Forestry Service that talks in detail about how to treat for this condition on our trees. And um, we also have a fact sheet on how to treat for it in, in your herbaceous ornamentals, such as your shrubs and your flowers and your vegetable gardens. So if you have more questions, give us a call. Reporting for K-State Research and Extension and Eagle TV, I'm Holly Dickman, Ellis County Horticulture Extension Agent. Tune into the Green and Growing program on Eagle Community Television with Holly Dickman, Ellis County Horticulture Agent. Holly will identify common lawn and garden issues and provide up-to-date information weekdays at noon and 9 p.m. on Channel 14. Green and Growing, brought to you by Eagle Community Television and Riedel's Garden Center, a full-service garden center west of Hayes on Highway 40 next to the Bickles-Schmidt Sports Complex.